So, um, this is my second take trying to make a video because, uh, my camera hates me and I hate it and I hope it dies in a fire. Anyway, uh, shameless plug before I get into the magic stuff, which is the exact opposite of the last video. I did this at the end, but I'll do it at the beginning now because, uh, I was reminded that I should probably do it. So I've been playing Allods. Allods! And, uh, I think you all should play with me. And if you don't know what it is, you should probably look it up. I will put a link in the, uh, information box where I put all my fabulous information. And you, too, will be able to play a very, very fun MMO. I, I don't know. It, it's really fun. I've been, like, addicted to it, so maybe I should play a little less and video a little more. Anyway, uh, moving on. Now that I've spent a minute talking about allods, I don't even know how the time flies, but it does. Let's move on to magic, because that's what you want to hear about. Scars of Meriden. Scars of Meriden. I have to smoke a cigarette so I can get in the mood. Hold on. Alright, we got this. Um, Scars and Mirrodin warped a format. It decided to take a very control-heavy format and flip it on its head. We are now back to a very aggro format. Say hello to aggro format. Hello aggro format. Which is exciting, but also very disappointing. You see, control is a very viable deck still. But there's only one very viable control deck, and that's mono black. <laughs> and I know you're all going, but what about blue white? It has Vincer, blah blah blah. I've seen mono black walk all over blue white. Now, do I think blue white is still playable? Yes, of course. Blue white is playable. Do I think it's the best deck choice right now? No, not even a little bit. Not even slightly. I think if you want to go for a good deck, you want to build around the aggro uh, deck builds that are out right now. And if you want to know what those are, well, I'm here to tell you. Right now, Mono Black with, surprisingly enough, Royal Assassin and Antuku Shade are very good. I think if you want to go for a very cheap deck build, Probably one of the cheapest, considering I can't really think of a money card in it. Now, I could be wrong. Overnight, a Royal Assassin might have gone up to two or three dollars. <gasps> the shock, the awe. And then Tuku Shade is eh, roughly, what, five or six at most? I haven't checked. I'm not playing it, but I might. I might play it. So, give it a shot. Tell me how you feel about Mono Black. Now, another good deck idea that is very old school in my opinion would be Mono Green Elves. Because right now there are so many ramp elves in format, it's not even funny. And there are three lords. Alright. So you have Zuri, who came out of Scars of Meriden, who is absolutely fabulous. He's over on a stick. And he regenerates your other elves, so you actually have a fighting chance against the dreaded Day of Judgment. Now, besides Azuri, you have Elvish Arch Druid, and you have the lovely, lovely Dragon Warcaller. That guy? I feel like He's the big old thumbs up. Alright. I really like the build. I do. A lot. So, if you want to run the copper horn combo, you should probably cut the, uh, oh my god, I just said his name, Draga, or Collar, and you should just run copper horn elves and work towards overrunning a million times. That happened to me at nationals, or not national states, rather, uh, recently, and I was like, what the fuck, and he was like, ask when he was 48, real mousy dude, real mousy guy, kicked me in the head, pretty much, it was... Not fun. No. No. Got elf gang banged and that's 
I don't think that's ever fun for anyone. It's kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Um, even if you're playing elves, and I was playing elves at the time, I was playing monument elves, and it was, it was just incredibly terrible. Um, moving on from elves, uh, I think another deck is mono red. With the addition of Koth, um, I think mono red has a fighting like spirit to it that can't be beat by any of the other decks in the format. I mean, you're making mana. You're making lots of mana. You're making enough mana that you can set off all those crazy burn spells in one turn and just kill them. <laughs> and I think that's absolutely fabulous that there's actually a card in red that makes it so red is automatically tier 1. In my opinion. It's just so good. Um, let's see. I think red green ramp is still very good. And I think mono green Eldrazi is still very good. But I think mono white all in is amazing. Argentum armor, amazing. Okay? If you don't believe me, you've obviously never had your head beat in by a grunt hawk with a Argentum armor strapped to it. Mm. Mm. Very bad. Very bad. Um, I like these builds. I really do. And I like the format right now. It's very fast. When I thought it was going to be very slow. My misconception, I suppose, being that, you know, we were in a very slow format, I guess. Transitionary wise. Uh, I don't know. I don't miss Jund. I don't miss Naya. I don't miss all those decks that just weren't fun to play anymore because there had been so much time and effort put into that deck months and months before that by the time you got to a certain point you had already played it a million times and you knew exactly what to do and exactly what the sideboard. Now you have to be a little janky. There's a lot less removal. The loss of Path to Exile is pretty hardcore in my opinion. Um, I don't know. feels different. They're good different, though. Um, I like the Titans still. Titans are pretty good. Big Red's pretty good, in my opinion. Um, I like Discard right now. I really do. Painful Quandary makes it very interesting. And I'm sorry to say, Mill does not look very good right now, so all you people who are Mill enthusiasts, I know half of you are like, I have a Mill deck that I play, and it's blah blah, and... Uh, I'm so proud of you for sticking with it, but Mill is so dead right now. Like, don't mention Grind Clock, and don't mention Keening Stone, and don't mention all these things. Simple Bone. Don't. And Mirror, don't play Mirror. Mirror, not good. Mirror, not good at all. And I'm not saying this to be mean for the people who are playing Mirror. I'm, I'm saying this because I don't want you to go into a tournament and expect to do well. <sighs> There will always be people who do well with really bad decks, and off the top of my head, Soul Sisters, and Time Seed, and all those insane decks that worked for two or three people, and then the rest of the world tried them out and didn't get nearly as far. Just don't be that person. I don't know. I love you guys too much. And that's what I want to say. I have 213 subscribers as of this video. And I love you guys. I mean, there's really nothing I can say beyond that. You guys are great, and I've, I've never been so happy to make a video as I am right now. Even though I might not sound happy, I don't know. I'm pretty monotone, so I, I mean, that's not my fault, though. I don't know. Anyway, my video's gonna cut out, and then it's gonna erase it again, I'm sure. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna put the info in the info bar. I expect you guys to join me in the cat chat on Facebook. Um, I'm thinking about making a blog. If I make a blog, I hope, 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 hope you guys will follow it. And if you don't, I'm not gonna hold it against you. Who cares? I mean, it's much better to watch a video than read a blog. But all the same, I love you guys, and thank you for watching my videos. You know that you make my life complete. <sighs> Here. Here. Um, thank you.
Thank you for being there for me, even though I might not know you. I know enough. And, uh, thank you.